The 2015 DBU women's tennis team posted a 16-4 record and finished as one of the top four teams in the Heartland Conference last year, earning them a trip to the conference tournament at the end of the regular season. With five players returning from last year's squad, DBU head coach Sarah Gray expects the team to build off the success and the experience they gained in 2015. Yeah, the girls did a great job, um, had a good season to put them in a position to be in the conference tournament and playing for a title. Um, it meant a lot of good experience for us to build on. Um, under the pressure, I think there were some instances in which we didn't perform to the best that we're capable of. So we took from that um, the need to play bold and um, play with confidence no matter who we're up against. So hopefully we'll build on that this year. One key returner for DBU is all-conference selection Rocio Fernandez de Camillo, who enters her senior season and believes the team has the talent to make a return trip to the conference tournament in 2016. Well, I think going to the Heartland Conference last year was really big for our team. Uh, I think we're a team that has a lot of potential, a lot of talent, a lot of discipline, but sometimes we're just not there in our confidence. And last year going to the Heartland Conference after many years of DBU not getting into that tournament was really big for us to show us that we actually have that talent, that we are at the level that all the other teams are as well. As DBU enters the new season, the Lady Patriots will have to replace Natalie Jennison, who was named the Outstanding Senior of the Year in the Heartland Conference. Yeah, Natalie left um, a great imprint on this program and um, having a younger team, it's no one will really fulfill that um, level of maturity and experience that she had, but we see a lot of potential in, in our younger classes. So um, this year we're really looking at Liz Slaughter from Georgia to step up. Um, she's a young lady whose game has come a long way in a year, whose confidence uh, continues to grow, and um, who just has some shot selection that really puts girls on the defensive uh, early in the points, which is similar to how Natalie played. So Liz had a good fall and um, She's ready to compete, and I expect her to do great this spring. Slaughter, who was an all-conference selection as a freshman last year, expects to build off the confidence she gained in her first season of collegiate tennis as she heads into her sophomore season. Well, last year I came in as a freshman, and I had some nerves, but I got a lot of good competition in and a lot of wins under my belt, and it helped me really improve my confidence in my game. And then this coming year, I'm really excited to face a lot of more tough competition and just fight out there for my team and improve even more. I worked a lot, I worked really hard over the summer to improve as well. Along with the return of Slaughter and fellow all-conference selection Amanda Richter, the Lady Patriots will also look to several other players to play a significant role in singles play. Anna Bonich is um, a transfer that we have from another good D2 school and uh, we expect her to play top in the lineup and bring her maturity as a junior uh, to the matches. Um, she has a lot of experience in tough situations. Her team made it to the sweet, her former team made it to the Sweet 16 a few years ago. So I definitely expect her to step up and, and just embrace um, the competition this spring. Uh, Bianca Tiarina, who played six for us last year and had a great record there. Um, I expect her to do well just building on last year. She was one of the top players in the conference at line six. And so um, with that confidence under her belt, I think she'll just build on that even more. While the teams in doubles action will be decided during the spring, DBU will look to the veteran play of both Amanda Richter and Rocio Fernandez de Camillo to lead this year's group. Um, the doubles teams aren't solidified yet. Uh, we've told everybody that they need to be ready to play with anyone at, on any given match. But um, two key doubles players we have are uh, both seniors, Amanda Richter and Rocio Fernandez. Um, great double specialists and um, they may be paired together or apart but they always are able to um, execute in doubles and really help um, bring their partner along with them uh, whether they're more inexperienced or um, if they're even with them so they're just very good doubles players and I'm looking forward to their leadership this year. One key newcomer who will be called on to play right away is freshman Maddie Kaufman, who Coach Gray believes can step in and make an immediate impact. She is a very experienced player, has played a ton of USTA tournaments. She's top 35 in the state and um, just comes from a, a very high level collegiate family background. Her sister played high level D2 and she just gets what college tennis is about. So um, I expect her to play very bold from the beginning and um, just be excited and start this spring really well. 
As DBU enters their spring schedule, Coach Gray knows some key factors will play a role in getting back to the conference tournament and taking the next step of reaching the NCAA tournament. Us playing well in tight pressure situations will um, be a game changer for this spring. We have um, another tough schedule just like we always do, but we even added a few more um, by going to uh, Georgia to play two top 15 schools out there, as well as our already tough regional and conference competition schedule. So um, what it's gonna take is just for us to step up, um, to play bold, and to be confident in ourselves. Um, at the end of the day, it's what the girls believe in that they're capable of and it's not only what they're told so they have to own their talent their skills and the work that they put in and just trust and um, play free when they play the matches. DBU's quest for a return trip to the Heartland Conference Tournament begins on February 13th when the Lady Patriots host UA Fort Smith. DBU will also play on their home courts this year versus conference foes Newman University and Texas Permian Basin before the conference tournament returns to Dallas in late April. As Lady Patriots set their sights on reaching the NCAA tournament this year we look forward to seeing you at the tennis courts in 2016.